David and David here, in this video, we're gonna tell you about five iPhone settings you need to know about. And the first one is how to turn the Apple logo on the back of your iPhone into a button. Sort of. Sort of. So let's go to settings, scroll down to accessibility, tap on that, tap on touch, and then come down here to back tap. Double tap, triple tap. When you tap the back of your iPhone two or three times, it'll do something. Right. So let's do double tap and we will do screenshot. I thought it was a button though, David. People are saying that you could just press this Apple logo and it's actually a secret button. It's not the Apple logo, it's just the back of your iPhone more generally. Accelerometers, it'll pick it up. Okay, nerd. Yeah, it gets okay, a little nerdy nerd. there. Yeah. But tap on the back of the Apple logo, it works. So if I double tap, <laughs> screenshot. It worked. It worked. That's amazing. Very cool. The next setting we're gonna talk about is gonna save you money and it's subscriptions. A lot of people don't realize that they've signed up for something or they do realize it and they don't know how to cancel it. And then they end up paying way too much money every single month and it just all adds up. Yeah, this happened to me recently. I signed up for Fubo TV to watch El Clasico. Didn't use it for 10 months and all of a sudden I'm looking at my bank statement and it's like, oh, $70 for the service I've used once. And I know, I'll cancel it next month. Yeah, cancel whatever. it next month, I'll remember. And you should know that with Apple services, generally you can cancel a subscription the first day you have the subscription and it won't expire until the end of the month. So ideally, you would just cancel it all the time. Yeah, let's go back to the main page of the settings app, tap back tap in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Same place, tap touch, then accessibility, then settings, we're back. Scroll all the way up to the top of the screen and tap on your name. And then tap on subscriptions. Let's see what David is subscribed to. Yep, Apple Music, Simply Piano, and I got my expired Apple News Plus subscription there. Yeah, it's not really. So yeah. maybe you want to delete one, tap on it, then tap cancel Whoa. subscription. It's it's uh, $95. It's, it's a good app. Oh dear. It's a really good app. This is a really good example of a subscription that you might want to cancel because you might not remember before May 15th of 2022 that you're going to get billed for $95 all of a sudden. So what I would do is just cancel the subscription. And then if you want to renew, you're going to get this alert like on May 17th. But let's say you don't use it on May 15th, 2022. You take a break for a week. Now your subscription is gonna be active from a year from whenever you reactivate it. So it's actually a better deal. I really think that we should just all cancel all of our subscriptions every single month because that week that I'm paying for mm. for HBO, it's yeah. a waste of money. Waste of money. Next, let's talk about how to make your iPhone screen darker than you can with just the brightness slider. And why would you wanna do that, David? Maybe you're in bed, it's dark in your room, you it's, don't need it super bright, and sometimes the iPhone screen minimum brightness is still too bright. It's too bright, yeah. You're in a movie theater, you're not supposed to be on your phone, but you're on your phone and- Watching the previews. Watching the previews, right. So, how do we do it? Let's go back to the main page of the settings app. Tap back in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, then Apple ID. And settings. And settings. Go down to accessibility. Tap on that, tap on display and text size, and then scroll all the way down to reduce white point. First thing to do, turn that switch on. Right, and you'll notice that your screen gets darker right away. Now you can adjust the slider at the bottom to your preferred white point. So if you make it lower, it gets brighter. I leave mine on at 50%. There it is at 100. Right, it's at 100, but it also has to do with the brightness setting on your iPhone. So if you swipe down from the upper right-hand corner of the screen to open control center, you can still make it brighter. It's all relative. It sort of changes the relative brightness, not the absolute brightness. This isn't your average everyday darkness. This is advanced darkness. Before we get into the next tip, we have a request. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, especially if this isn't the first time that you've seen us in a video. That's the universe telling you to subscribe to our channel. And if you really want to support us, you can join and become a David, just like me and just like him. Now, if you are annoyed about pop-ups like this in the middle of videos, and you're like, this is not what I want, I want to watch the full video, that's kind of like in-app ratings and reviews, where you open an app for the first time and it says, hey, give us a review. Right, are you enjoying this app? I've never used it before, how do I know if I'm enjoying it? I don't want to see those notifications anymore. Let's go back to the main page of the settings app, tap back, upper left-hand corner of the screen, then tap settings in the same spot, and come down here to App Store. Tap on that, and make sure this switch next to in-app ratings and reviews is off. I've already turned it off because it's really annoying. It is. I really like that they built this feature in. I was surprised when I saw this for the first time because usually the annoying things are things you can't turn off. Thanks, Apple. Next up, cellular data. It's not cheap, it doesn't grow on trees, and you can limit the amount of cellular data you use 
and just sort of shut off the faucet so you never run out of data again. How do we do it, Dave? Let's go back to the settings app main page and then scroll up and tap on cellular. Here you're gonna scroll all the way down past all the apps. Oh my. Keep going. Look at the switch next to iCloud Drive. Make sure this switch is off. Right, when not connected to Wi-Fi, use cellular network to transfer documents and data? No. You know what, let's just throw in a bonus tip. Six iPhone settings you need to know about. Let's go to photos in the settings app and we're gonna adjust a very similar setting. Yep, back to the main page of the settings app. Scroll down to photos, tap on that. And now let's scroll down to cellular data. Tap on that. Make sure that this is off as well so that your iPhone can't use your cellular data to upload your photos, which are really big, to iCloud Photos. When will they upload? Whenever you're connected to Wi-Fi, which is every night. So this will save your cellular data plan. Even if you have unlimited data, you should know that there's throttling. It'll get slower if you use too much. So yep. still a good idea to keep it. Minimum. Take these tips, impress your friends, and tell them where you watch this video. And then when they come, tell them to subscribe to our channel. And join. Become an honorary David, like my parents made me when I was born. Thanks for watching.